Hello and welcome back to the channel. What I have for you here today is a book review. I'm going to be reviewing the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows by John Koenig. And this is a very, very lovely book. Uh, if you're not familiar with the YouTube channel or the website, uh, the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows is a compendium of new words for emotions and experiences that describe the various complexities of the human experience. Um, and the author here, John Koenig, has taken prefixes, suffixes, word roots uh, from various languages, English, Latin, German, Greek. Um, I think there's Japanese in there in here as well. But a variety of different languages. And it, this book has been, uh, I think, 15-year-old project. I think it was in the mid 2000s, maybe 2005 or 6. I'm not quite sure of the date actually. Um, but it was just released in late 2021, uh, late November or December, I believe. Uh, but I am very excited to have have a copy for myself. I I love words. I love literature, and and this is just it's it's really nice. Uh, so if we just Open up here, I'll show you the contents page. Um, but as you can see here, there's there's six categories um, or chapters. And um, they're, they've been, the words themselves, they've been placed into these categories based on theme. Uh, the theme is for one, uh, between living and dreaming. Uh, that's like the outer world. Uh, Two would be the interior wilderness, that's the inner self. Uh, three is a uh, montage of attractions, and uh, that's people you know. Uh, four is uh, faces in a crowd, and that is the people you don't know. <laughs> uh, five is boats against the current or the passage of time. And lastly, six, roll the bones, and we have, uh, you know, the search for meaning. That was the theme of uh, the last category here. So. Um, just to give you an example of each of the words here, what they might be in the categories. I've picked out a, a couple of my favorites here. Uh, there we are. Ozuri. Feeling between the life you want and the life you have. It's a nice, I think this is a collage, yeah. By Mr. Babies. Rosary. And uh, not every word is, is this detailed, uh, has a, this detailed of a description, just certain words. But at the end of the description, there's always the. See right here where the root words come from in the pronunciation. But yeah, it's um it's a really lovely book really truly is. I'm very, very pleased. Alazia, hear me. The fear that you're no longer able to change. Another collage. Mitting. This is a really nice one. The tranquil pleasure of being near a gathering but not quite in it. Hovering on the perimeter of a campfire. Talking quietly outside a party. Resting your eyes in the back seat of a car, listening to friends chatting up front, feeling blissfully invisible, yet still fully included, safe in the knowledge that everyone is together and everyone is okay, with the all thrill of being there without the burden of having to be. That's a. They're just. It's just so fitting. Like I. I think. What makes this book so special is that. The author's taking great care to, to make these words. They fit perfectly. 
he's able to articulate all these sensations and feelings that we can't we hadn't fully been able to describe and he's able to do it so poetically it's just it's lovely and it's really great. I don't know how, I don't know how else to say it. It's just it's admirable. Tick clock. The anxiety of never knowing how much time you have left. Something I struggle with quite a lot actually. But yeah, and not only is there are, as you can see, just as I flip through the pages here, you can see that there are some illustrations. There is a little bit of artwork. I wouldn't say it's lusciously illustrated, but there's definitely quite a few um, images in the. There's also quotes too here, one from Cheslo Milos. The bright side of the planet moves toward darkness, and the cities are falling asleep, each in its hour. And for me, now is then. Is too much. There's too much world. Isn't that the truth? But yeah, this it's. Uh, I. I am. I lost for words. <laughs> um, for how beautiful this this work of literature is, and there's so much time and effort that went into this book that the only criticism. I can make has nothing to do with uh, the author. Um, it is everything to do with the publisher, because this book is just so wonderful that the execution of the book itself is something that I'm not too thrilled with. Um, don't get me wrong; like it's still a nice, it's still a nice book. It's a nice hardcover. Uh, edition and they have some they've used some metallic ink here on uh, the cover for the text and the uh, illustration as well as on the spine here and uh, the back of the book as well but my problem is that the materials used are it's just, it's cheaply made. Like, I don't know how else to say it, so I'll just say it how it is. It's cheaply made. And I just wish that the it was more robust. Um, the cover is, the cover board, like the book board used is, it's very light. Um, it almost feels hollow, actually. And the, the material that goes over top of it, it's, it's not cloth by any means. It's a textured paper to mimic cloth. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's a little disappointing. It just feels kind of, it's a finger, it's a magnet for fingerprints, but, um, yeah, it's, I wish it would have been more cloth like or something. <laughs> uh, and I, and if this had been, if the text had been embossed or the image had been embossed, I think that would have been, been really, really wonderful as well. And the side of the spine, uh, it's if you look at the top here you can see maybe you can't because the lighting hang on there so we can see that there is a headband um, but that there was a lot of glue used uh, to fix to fasten the uh, the sink the paper signatures together so but that kind of tells me that it isn't actually sewn, it's glued, and that is not, oops, that's kind of less than ideal for a number of reasons. Um, it, it won't last very long, and the paper used, I don't know if you are able to see here, but it is very textured and porous it almost feels pulpy and it's not acid free so that means that as the book ages it is the pages are going to yellow and they're also thin like you can see here you can see the text on the other side uh, through the page actually and 
with the binding being glued, not sewn with the poor quality of the paper. This book isn't going to stand the test of time. Uh, so that's disappointing because it is such, it's just such a wonderful book. Um, beautifully, beautifully done. Um, you know, it's a, it's, it, it, it's a poetic work of art. It really is. And I think that it's deserving of a collector's edition. So uh, the publisher, Simon & Schuster, they better, they better get on that because I think that this deserves, is deserving of a collector's edition or, or a more robust, higher quality product, I suppose, for us book nerds. Um, but you know, this book is, is interesting because creating new words for feelings and sensations that we can't articulate is, you know, it's like, it's likely unlocking, you know, access to new parts of the brain and, and, and a layer of the psyche that we previously hadn't been able to access. You know, words are important. They, they shape our reality. They build our world. They, they have meaning and, and being able to create, to, to articulate something so deeply uh, and beautifully, like poetically, is, 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 it's, it's insane. It's an, it's an incredible talent. There's a lot of work that went into this and, and, and I have a deep admiration <laughs> for that. We, we definitely need more of this type of content in the world, but, um, yeah, I definitely, despite, you know, the fallbacks of the actual construction and materials used in the book, I, I would still recommend picking up a copy. I really, I really would, especially, you know, if you're into etymology at all, or, you know, like you want to improve your, your vocabulary diction, whatever that may be. If you just love beautiful words and interesting ideas, I would recommend picking up this book. I really would. It is, it is wonderful. And I think that, uh, Simon and Schuster could have executed it a little bit, a little bit better. <laughs> And I'll just leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that you found some enjoyment in this video and I shall see you in the next one. Take care.